You awake in the night with an eerie feeling of being watched. You look around the room and see nobody there, but then you spot it. Standing in the doorway is the shadow man, just standing there, peering at you. As soon as you spot him, he fades away. Night after night, the same thing happens. The same entity, always in the doorway, always watching. The figure has no features. It is a solid black silhouette of a person, a shadow. This is the tale most often told by people who get a visit from a shadow person, but encounters can take many different forms. Sometimes they are seen in forests, or graveyards, or abandoned buildings. Sometimes in daylight, walking right down the street. Sometimes the figure is wearing a hat or a hood. Other times it has glowing red eyes. Some people feel a frightening, evil aura from the figure. Others feel calm and reassured. Stories of shadow beings have been reported for centuries, but it is only in recent decades that people have begun to share their stories more readily. As the internet made mass communication easier, people who had encountered such entities were able to share their experiences with each other. As more and more people reported the same black figure, the term shadow person was coined. Some people even managed to photograph these entities. Here are 10 of the best photographs of shadow beings ever captured on camera. This is one of the most well-known shadow person photographs. It is commonly known as the hospital demon photograph. It was recorded on a nurse's monitor and appears to show a black figure standing on a patient's chest as they lie in bed. Shadow beings are often reported by hospital staff and are seen as portents of death. Unsurprisingly, a few hours after this photo was taken, the patient died. This picture was taken by a woman named Shelley in her New York apartment. She claims that she experienced many paranormal phenomena, such as poltergeist activity, seeing shadows out the corner of her eye, and the general bad luck and oppressive atmosphere whenever she was in the apartment. This photograph is interesting because the shadow is passing right in front of a light source, eliminating the possibility that it is just a shadow being cast on the wall. This image is one of the most recent shadow person photographs. The low quality photo shows a black figure peering out from behind a pillar. The picture was taken by pupils at a Malaysian school. The photo caused mass panic within the school. Over 20 students had to be sent home because they feared they were being possessed by spirits. Locals blame the phenomena on a Pontianak, a vengeful spirit of a woman who has died during childbirth. The Pontianak is said to kill its victims by tearing open their stomachs with her long fingernails and devouring their internal organs. This picture shows a strange black shape behind the hand of the person sat at the table. Again, this shape appears in front of items in the background, suggesting it is a solid manifestation rather than a normal shadow. It does not seem to be shaped like a human being, more like an amorphous blob. It fits with the description of shadow beings that can shapeshift into any form that they like. Perhaps this entity was captured on camera just as it was taking form. This photo was uploaded to Reddit by a user called Camelsaurus. He tells the story behind it. Ten years ago, I was given this photo by an ex-girlfriend. Backstory is... The owner of the home always said it was haunted by things that were always all black. They would wake up and see the entity standing over them, then it would vanish. This photo was taken around Christmas, and you can see the figure near the fridge. You can see a flash on the fridge handle, but not on the figure. Supposedly a family haunts the house. He claims the entity is the daughter of the family, whose room used to be where the fridge is. This photo was taken by a paranormal investigation team in the Rolling Hills Asylum, an abandoned mental hospital with a long history of hauntings. The corridor where this picture was taken is known as Shadow Hallway because of how common shadow entities are sighted there. 
A spirit called Jack is said to pace up and down behind the doors here. The team reported hearing footsteps and voices, and when they checked their cameras, they noticed this eerie figure caught on the tape. This picture is quite well known, but has been spread so widely across the internet that I cannot find the original story behind it. It shows two shadowy figures peeking out from behind a tree, but other than that, no other information is known. If you know anything more about this picture, please leave a comment. Michelle Spittler was in her kitchen, preparing dinner, when she spotted what she thought was her husband out the corner of her eye. Turning to talk to him, she saw standing there her previous husband, who had died eight years earlier. Terrified, Michelle ran out of the room and did not see the ghost again. This photo was taken two months later. Her family were visiting and they decided to take some photos of her home. When they developed the picture, they spotted this dark figure standing behind Michelle. It was standing in exactly the same spot that she had seen her dead husband. This photo was taken at a promo shoot for a band named Myth. They were unaware of the figure in the background until they reviewed the photos later. Early in the band's career, they had a bassist called Jimmy who died in a car crash. The band believed this figure is Jimmy, returning for one last picture with the band. There is a road in Missouri called Lawler Ford Road. It has been nicknamed Zombie Road by the locals because of its reputation for hauntings by strange, shadowy figures. This picture was taken on Zombie Road by Tom Halstead. It shows an entire group of shadow beings watching him from the trees alongside the road. This is definitely one of the creepiest pictures that I've ever seen. There are many theories as to what shadow people actually are. Some people think they are ghosts, some think they are demons or angels or other transdimensional entities. They could even be alien life forms or astrally projecting bodies. Whatever they are, they seem to like watching us sleep. There is a link in the description to a website where people share their own shadow person encounters. I recommend reading it, but maybe not before bed. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment to let us know what you thought. Until next time, goodbye.